Well, hey guys, it's me, Ole. Wow, it feels so weird to say this sentence because I haven't said it for such a long time, probably about one and a half years. But yeah, I'm back. I'm highly motivated to shoot videos again. And uh, I have a lot planned for you guys. Um, but this video is kind of improvised. I'm actually recording the audio with my phone. Uh, my camera is sitting on top of boxes because yeah, I don't have my tripod here because it's uh, not different here in Germany than it is in the rest of the world. It's Corona time. And I actually had to Google the word how to pronounce it. Alexa, was heißt Quarantäne auf Englisch? Quarantine. Quarantine. Uh, it's quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. You shouldn't go outside. Uh, the government says it's best to stay inside so the virus doesn't spread so easily. But let's put that aside. I'll talk about uh, Corona and all that stuff uh, in uh, the rest of the video. But at first, I really, really want to uh, say thank you that so many of you guys still stick to this channel. So many of you guys were, are still subscribed to my channel, still leave comments in the comment section below. And a lot of you still message me on Instagram. I'm, I'm really, really thankful for that. And uh, that really motivated me to continue making videos. I was kind of surprised that some of you thought that I was dead. Uh, just recently, I, I looked under my video and I saw a comment saying, rest in peace, Ole. Uh, it's so sad to see you go. Uh, where are you, Ole? And someone replied, yeah, he died in a car accident. Uh, he was driving under the influence. Uh, well, no, I'm still here. I didn't drive under the influence. And I also didn't crash my car and died in there. So uh, I don't know where you got that information from. If you know where it came from, just let me know in the comment section below because I'm really, really interested in that. Um, it's, it's very funny for such a small channel like mine uh, that, yeah, conspiracy theories like this actually appear on the web. Very surprising. So what happened to my channel? Well. A lot of you know that BlackBerry isn't really a thing anymore, the phone sector. Um, I moved on to an iPhone. I still have my BlackBerry phones, of course. Please don't hack me that I um, switched to an iPhone. I'm actually using it to record uh, the audio, audio right now. Um, I will shoot a video about my BlackBerry in 2020, and I will also shoot a video about my iPhone and why I switched. I think that could be very, very interesting for you guys. Um, and it could also be interesting for you how a BlackBerry performs in 2020. I'm also really interested in that and I really want to see how it performs. Other than those topics, there's a lot more that I want to do with this channel. I was thinking about what could I share, what may be interesting for you guys. And um, I just think that if you want to create good content, you really have to stand behind it and you really have to feel it just like I was with Blackberry. I, I love Blackberry and I still do. And I just share my passion for it through the camera. And I really wanna do that with my other topics. So my topics could be about my lifestyle. I know that sounds kind of strange, but the things that I buy, the things that I use on a daily basis, it could be style, it could be cars, it could be watches, uh, you name it. And um, I really want to combine it all to a very, very nice concept that you always know, yeah, that's from Ole, that's his content and you enjoy it. I hope you get what I mean by that. And uh, you can also leave comments in the comment section below on what you would like me to do, what I should do and what may be interesting for you. So, but let's get back to a topic that I really wanted to address in this video. I know most of you probably can hear it anymore, Corona. That's actually why this video is so improvised. I'm sitting here on a chair. I've never done that. I'm always standing up and I, I'm kind of uncomfortable in this situation, but I'm trying my best to, yeah, uh, not slouch too much. But it's because of Corona. Uh, I don't have my tripod here. I don't have my audio equipment here. That's why I'm recording this with my iPhone and I have my camera set up on some boxes. Um, I know I could go outside, but the government says you shouldn't. And something that I really wanted to address is how can we get past this situation? I also know that a lot of uh, people think, yeah, it's not this bad. Uh, the government says it's much, much worse than it actually is. It's uh, not as bad as the, 
the typical flu. You probably heard all of those voices. And I actually just had a chat with a cashier uh, at my local supermarket. And she also said, yeah, I don't care about what they say. I stay with my people. I still meet them and I still go outside when I want to. But what many of those people don't realize is that they they complain about the situation that they aren't allowed to go outside. But what they don't realize is that the more they go outside, the more they, sh they, they sh meet with other people, that situation actually gets worse. And you probably have to stay inside for longer. So why don't you just stay inside, stay home, wait for the situation to 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 yeah disappear or like the flat uh, the curve flattens of infected people it's not like you're not allowed to work yes i know a lot of uh, jobs uh, shouldn't be done anymore like uh, my hairdresser isn't allowed to work anymore so i can't get a haircut for the next two weeks and i actually had one f uh, in two days so yeah i'm kind of sad about that but hey it's for our convenience it's for our society and we should stay inside and uh, yeah, just let the government do its thing. I don't think that it's the government that planned something that set coronavirus up to manipulate the people. Uh, Cause just think about it. Why would they hit their own economy that much? The worldwide economy and uh, actually threaten their existence. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. And I don't think that the government overreacts cause if it wasn't that serious, uh, they wouldn't act the way they do. So I think we just should we should just follow their instructions, even if it even if it's inconvenient to not go outside to stay in your apartment. I know I hate the feeling. I'm a very extrovert guy, and I I always want to meet people. But in this situation, I just I just think we should follow everything. How is it in Germany? Yeah, streets are empty, stores are closed. It's a very strange feeling to go through a city. It's a very it's a very strange atmosphere, but um, I hope that we get through this situation very, very quickly because I just want it to be normal again. And I hope and I think yeah, you all want that to be normal too. I actually planned so many things that I wanted to shoot in the next weeks that sadly uh, doesn't work because of Corona right now. So I'm trying to make some videos inside my apartment. I have, I have a lot of things that I want to talk about here. Actually, you probably see my environment. I moved. I really want to do an apartment tour. And uh, I think it's time for that now because it's uh, current time. Quarantine. Well, that was kind of a different video, especially for my first video since one and a half years. But I just had to get it out here. I just wanted to talk about it. And I think it's pretty interesting. For you guys too. I'm really interested in your opinion about me making videos again and also what you should do uh, during this time of coronavirus and the corona crisis. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. I am very interested about your uh, in your opinion and I hope we can get a pretty good conversation about it in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it and make sure you follow me on my social media channels Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I'll leave you guys updated on my social media channels about my new videos as well. And uh, I just really hope that you don't think that I'm dead and I hope this like proof that I'm still alive. Okay, see you in my next video. See you then, bye.